you have to identify what your brand is about because the common challenge that we have especially when we start our own business through Facebook is that we don't know what kind of content that, you're, that we're going to put out we don't know what kind of brand that we're going to put out all right and so this is very important for us to go through so that you can have a clear picture of what you are going to share to the public what you're going to be known for that is your brand all right so the first part is identifying your competency and your passion it's like your profession and your passion because the truth is even if you're passionate about something it doesn't automatically mean that it's going to pay the bills if you're passionate about singing it doesn't mean that you're going to get paid all the time to sing maybe at first you're going to do things for free and then eventually you're going to ask for like a payment and then eventually you're going to ask for more payments right but that's a process so now you are competent with something you are good with something and that is paying the bills for example you are working as an accountant so you are getting paid as an accountant because you are a good accountant or you are a good salesperson or a marketing person so you are getting paid to do marketing but at the same time it is there is also a truth that if you're good with something it doesn't mean that you love it right some people they are doing what they're supposed to do and they are good with it but they don't like it because they are just they just do it because they need to not because they love to all right and so on your screen right now you're going to see a Venn diagram and this is something you can download the worksheet or if you don't have a worksheet you can just grab a piece of paper and then draw a Venn diagram as you can see on your screen so it's a Venn diagram on the left circle is your competency what you're going to write here are things that you're good at the things that you are confident enough to say that I am good with this if you're going to ask me to do this I can do it because I know how to do it and I can execute it for you let me just give you an example let's say you're a graphic designer you are competent with design you can also do Photoshop and you can also draw so those are the things that you're good at right you're, those are the things that can give value to your audience those are competency so write it down and as much as you can don't by the way don't write things that you think that you're good at write things that you know that you're good at okay so write down on competency on the next circle on the other side of the circle is your passion what's your passion what do you love to do do you love to like um, travel do you also love to do like some people business is their passion and that's a really good thing right because if business is your passion you it doesn't feel like work that's a good thing about passion because when you do it you can do something for free but you can you get paid anyway that's the best thing about passion when you convert that into a profession so write down the things that you're passionate about you're passionate about guitar uh, even if you're not really good with it but you're passionate about it um, you're passionate about singing you're passionate about you know the things that you love all right so write it down on the right side you can click pause so just to give you time to answer those things before we even proceed so just click pause right now and just continue to hit play when you're done all right so hit pause right now so by now you have done your competency part and your passion you may see some connections and some disconnections from those two things what do I mean there are things that you're good at which your which is your competency but you don't love it and there are things that you're good at and you love it let me just give you an example for me is that my competency is public speaking I would say that in confidence especially if it's about business if it's about finance and if it's about life if you're going to ask me to speak about those three things that is my competency at the same time that is my passion maybe you can feel my energy right now talking to you through this video and so I have more energy when I'm on stage or when I do speaking engagement because I don't know it's 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 like a common thing it's like a natural thing for me to share things right 
So that's also my passion. One of my competency is to, I know how to put like stocks in the warehouse. Why? Because that's what I do now with my job. If you're going to ask me, okay, where are we going to put this sack? Because we are importing like feed grades, you know, feeds for the customers, you know? So I know that. I know how to plan where to put it. So there are things that you are good at or you know how to do it, but you don't like it. It's a normal thing, okay? And the last part is, there's also things that you love to do, but you suck in that specific area. For example, you love singing, but you really can't sing. I'm sorry to tell you that, you know, as you can see, my energy is going down because it's kind of humiliating or something like that. But the point is, there are things that you're passionate about that you're not good at. I used to be passionate about playing basketball, but, and I, I want to be like Kobe Bryant, like shoot a Kobe, like that, but I'm not a good shooter. I'm not a good basketball player, but I love the game, but I'm not good with the game. So are you getting this? So that's the purpose of the Venn diagram. You can see what you're good at and what you want to do. And the purpose, it's a Venn diagram because in the middle, what you're going to write are those things that are connected. You know, for example, for me, in the middle part, this is the public speaking about business, finance, and life. So that's my competency and it is also my passion. I can put it in the middle because it makes sense. It's a match. But the warehouse thing, is something that I don't like to do, so I'm not going to put it in the middle because it doesn't make sense. The bas basketball thing, I love it. I love to play basketball, but I'm not competent with it. I know how to play, but I'm not good with playing basketball, so I'm not going to put it in the middle. Are you getting this? And so the activity right now is this. Find what matches with your profession slash competency with your passion. Okay. Again, find the connection between your competency and your passion because the, the point of this activity is that the middle part is going to be the subject matter of what you're going to put out in Facebook. Okay, You are good with it, you know how to do it, and you love it, and you're passionate about it. That means you're going to find ways to make it happen. So write it in the middle and then let me know your answer in the comment section or you can send me an email in jan at the so that I can guide you through the process.